Now, the last four episodes of this series, we've done Real Madrid, Barcelona, and Manchester United. And as you can tell by the title, you can see we got Arsenal today. And that is an interesting one I decided to do. Now, a lot of people asked for this in the comment section down below. Everyone said do Arsenal because the situation with Arsenal is this season, next season, it's going to be massive, okay? We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if Wenger's going to stay. We don't know what players are going to leave. We don't know what players are going to obviously be signed. We don't know. So, we're going to talk about it in this video. Now, let me know in the comment section down below which team do you want me to do next? Do you want me to do Chelsea? Do you want me to do, I don't know, Man City, Liverpool? Paul, drop a like and a thumbs up down below if you want to see that episode. Now, what I do always before I start the video in this series, what I do say is, guys, not all of these transfers will happen. Maybe some of them, they are, maybe some of them won't happen, okay? All of these are rumours at the minute, okay? So, obviously, this won't be, the, you know, FIFA 18 Arsenal team exactly. One or two players could sign. None of these players could sign. They can all sign. Who knows? That's the beauty of it. Now, the first player is going to start at the goalkeeper position, of course. Now, what goalkeeper could Arsenal be signing? We have Jordan Pickford here today. Now, this guy is a very good goalkeeper. He's doing pretty well with Sunderland, but Anyway, let's take a look at this. Arsenal transfer news. Jordan Pickford lined up to replace Petr Cech as Gunners scout Sunderland star. Wow, okay, that's big news. Arsenal have reportedly been scouting Sunderland's Jordan Pickford as they look to replace Petr Cech this summer. Now, that's not a big surprise. Petr Cech is getting a little bit older now. They do need to find that long-term replacement for him. It seems that Petr Cech's on his way out, according to this article, and Jordan Pickford seems to be the number one call to get him in. Anyway, that'd be fantastic for the young lad. Only 1994, so, you know, he's pretty young. He's got a lot of years ahead of him, and he does well at Arsenal. Like I say, titles could be there, you know, trophies could be there for Jordan Pickford, you know, good luck to him if he does move. For the left back position, we got a player that's actually apparently agreed verbal terms, Kolasinic, I think I've already pronounced that right or wrong, but anyway, this guy, his contract is expired at the end of the season at Schalke, and now apparently Arsenal have already done a deal with him. 22 hours ago, the Metro actually reported that this guy is done a medical, and it's been complete at Arsenal, okay, he's done his medical Arsenal, uh, instead of his medical Arsenal, he's done his Arsenal medical already, that's out of his mouth. So out of all the players in this episode, this guy looks like to be the most done deal, okay, the, the, apparently the Medical's already done. Obviously, loads of articles in the last few hours are reported saying that this guy's team will come in Arsenal. And even says in the mirror here, Arsenal fans are very excited about the prospect of signing Sead Kolasinac after left back bags two assists for Schalke. Arsene Wenger is confident the Gunners will win the race to sign the left back, and fans appear to be chuffed. Apparently so. So the Bosnian and uh, Herzegovina international has been on the radar for quite a few different clubs, but Arsenal look like they've got that. He's been offered a four-year contract. Obviously, his deal was you know over in the summer, so they can just give him a four-year deal, which looks like he's accepted. Arsene did play down the story at his most recent press conference, but the Gunners are confident the deal is done. So this move would be fantastic for left back. Now let's get into the centre back. Now the first centre back is actually Van Dijk, apparently going to Arsenal. That's right, a Southampton boy. Looks like he's on the move. Arsenal look to hijack Chelsea's Virgil Van Dijk move as Arsene Wenger eyes permanent move to back three. The £50 million rated Southampton defender is also being sought after. Well, look, basically Liverpool, Everton and Man City all want to sign him. Arsenal have made inquiries about Southampton's Dutch centre half as they look to bolster their defence as part of a major squad overhaul this summer. Apparently, Chelsea are in the pole position to sign him and remain confident of actually signing him, but Liverpool, Everton and Man City, the other clubs other than Arsenal, are also interested in signing him, but £50 million is big money. Wenger wants a new centre-half as the players believe he is ready to move forward towards a new formation. Apparently, Van Dijk wants the back three, and Arsenal Wenger is going to move to the back three. The next one, the next centre-half, is an absolute shocking story, okay? absolute shocking story that I think has just come from the fans. I don't think it's a real rumour. I think it's just come from the fans. Aldo Vera is rumoured to be leaving Tottenham, but is he going to Arsenal? Well, surely not. This is from the Metro anyway. Arsenal fans urge club to trigger Toby Aldo Vera's release clause after he reportedly rejects a new Spurs deal, which is also true. Rumour has it, you know, he's not actually signing his deal with Spurs. Inter Milan want to sign him, but obviously all Arsenal fans saying to Wenger or whatever, sign this guy, but he's not going to go from Tottenham to Arsenal, is he? That doesn't make any sense. Considering, you know, how well Tottenham are doing, you know, how high up they are and stuff, it, it would make sense for him to move to Arsenal. It doesn't really make sense for him to move to Inter Milan, to be fair. Now, it is believed that Alderweireld has a release clause of around £25 million, which actually is not a lot of money considering how good this guy is, okay? We just took a look at Van Dijk. He's double the money. This guy's half the value of Van Dijk. He's definitely not half the defender, that's for sure. Someone say better, mate. 86 play hard on FIFA. Someone say better. Man United are interested in him, of course. Loads of clubs are interested in him. And I'm surprised he's not signed a new deal, Tottenham. I am surprised by that. Uh, will he get Arsenal? Shut sure, nah. I'm going to rule that one out. No way. Now, in the right-back position, we've actually got someone who's not in FIFA, so I'm not even going to feature him on the FIFA screen. We've got Ryan Sessegnon, okay? Now, this guy looks like the best young left-back in England at the minute, okay? He's doing he's doing bits. Now, for a left-back, he's scoring something like crazy amount of goals, okay? He's getting loads of assists. He's like 16 years of age. Yeah, 16 years of age. Loads of clubs are interested in him. Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea. Loads want to sign him. Now, apparently, the hottest club to sign him in a minute is Liverpool. Apparently, Liverpool favourites to sign him. Of course, Arsenal and Chelsea still want to get him. Still have a good chance. 
chance of signing him. Now, for a left back, he scored six goals and three assists this season in 23 appearances. Six goals, a left back position, mate. That's that's huge. When you're a young English defender, and you know, you're doing them sort of, you know, statistics or whatever in quite a high league as well, you're going to be looked at, and a lot of clubs are going to want to sign you, especially at 16 years of age. 16 years of age, he's still a boy. He's not 18, he's not 19, he's not an adult or whatever. He's 16 years of age, he's still a young teenager, he's still a boy. In fact, I, I just can't believe it. There is no shock here that loads of clubs are looking at this guy, so Arsenal, are you going to be the one? Now, this is going to shock a lot of you, okay? This is on the Metro once again. They've featured quite a lot in this in this article, so Ratty to Arsenal. Now, this this is a big if, right? This is a very small chance happening, I reckon, but Ratty will cost mega money should Arsenal and Chelsea want to sign him, warns his agent. Now, the PSG midfielder has been heavily linked with the move to Chelsea and Arsenal, but apparently, according to his agent, he's going to cost huge money. Now, obviously, there's been loads of other clubs abroad that want him, like Barcelona, etc, etc. Arsenal are the bottom of the peck in order to sign him, probably. So it's going to be very, very tricky for Arsenal to sign this guy. Do they need another midfielder? They've got quite a few midfielders, but you, you wouldn't say no to Verratti if you offered him. But for the money, Arsenal are probably not going to fork that out, are they? They're just not going to fork that money out for him. Now, for the next player, lads, it's a really interesting one, because Arsenal have already bidded on this guy in the summer, I believe, or whatever, and it was rejected. Or maybe it was January they bidded him, but either way, it was rejected. Now, Andrea Bellotti to Arsenal. Petrino rejected £56 million bid from Arsenal for Andrea Bellotti. You may remember this being all over Sky Sports News and stuff like that. This was big, right? This was big rumours. Not even rumours. This was a bid. Official bid. Torino rejected a £56 million offer from Arsenal for striker Andrea Bellotti, according to Serie A club's sporting director. He's also added that Torino have no intentions of selling the Italian international. He scored 17 goals in 21 matches for club and country this season. Not bad. Pretty impressive stats. Apparently, Arsenal said to Sky Sports that, you know, the no bid actually was made, but Sky Sports sources... Oh, well, actually, no. The, 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 the sporting director come out and said they bid it on him, so who's telling the truth? For example, this is what the sporting director actually come out and said. He received and refused a £56 million bid offer from Arsenal for Andrea Bellotti, but it does not reflect the value of the player. Apparently, Torino said they won £120 million for him. Oh my god, football's gone mad. Football's gone mad. £120 million for this Italian striker. £120 million. I want to skip this chance already because this is hurting my brain. Now, we've got someone who Arsenal have been looking at for a little while. He's been at quite a few clubs for a 20-year-old, and he's won quite a lot as well for a 20-year-old. Kingsley Coman's Arsenal. Chelsea and Arsenal on alert as Kingsley Coman entourage hesitates over Bayern Munich contract. Huge news. Chelsea and Arsenal have been put out on a red alert as Kingsley Coman is reportedly unsure about signing a contract with Bayern Munich at the end of the season. He doesn't know if he's going to sign a new one. So, yeah, he doesn't know if he's going to sign a new deal, which means if he's not, loads of clubs are going to come in and sign him, aren't they? Because this guy's a big talent. He's won lots of stuff in lots of big clubs and proved it every single club. He's been at like Bayern Munich. He's been at like Juventus. He's been at like PSG as well. This guy's mad. But yeah, apparently reports are saying that it could cost £43 million. Pounds. This is big money stuff. This is big clubs. This is big players. You know, we're not expecting like £5 million pound amazing deals. Now, someone actually might not be as expensive and actually from the Premier League, we've got Tadic, okay, obviously the Southampton star. Could be going Arsenal. Atletico, Roma and Arsenal were the three clubs supposedly interested in selling this guy in the summer. Now, the Southampton attacking midfielder has already been linked with Arsenal, and according to reports in Spain, Atletico Madrid are set to challenge the Gunners too. AS Roma, another one on the scene as well, they want to sign him and stuff. Tadic is a big, big talent. You know, there's no shock that this guy's going to be, he's going to be going to a few clubs. Well, not a few, but, you know, a few clubs are going to be interested in him, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know, I know that Arsenal have been interested in this guy for, like, maybe two years, three years, so maybe Arsenal are the favourites to sign him. If he wants to stay in the Premier League, then Arsenal's got to be the club for him. Fantastic midfielder, really, really good. I can see him do well at, uh, you know, Arsenal, to be fair, because he is good. So will it happen? Another one. You have to wait and see, boys. Last but not least, we have got Lacazette, of course. Okay, this rumour's not a shock to you all. He's been interested, or well, there's been rumours there for, like, a year or two. Now, the situation is that Bruce Dortmund may sign him if Aubameyang leaves, but Arsenal, of course, won him too, so it's tricky. Last summer, Arsene Wenger began his desperate search for a striker, the man who was looking for to replace Olivier Giroud. They did actually, in fact, apparently bid for Lacazette. That was failed, and uh, obviously he failed and gave up on him and actually went and signed, I don't know, who was it, Lucas Perez instead. Now, the 25-year-old is going to leave Lyon at some stage because there's so many big clubs interested in him. He's just not going to stay, is he? No matter how loyal he is, he's just not going to stay. But the question is, uh, is Arsenal the favourites to get him? I don't really know. Bruce Dortmund, if Aubameyang goes, they want to sign him and stuff like that. Obviously, there's been a few clubs in Spain obviously interested in signing him. Atletico apparently have already agreed a verbal deal to sign him. That's right, Atletico Madrid have apparently agreed a verbal deal to pre-sign him, okay? A little pre-thing that clubs do. If that's not concrete, Arsenal could still come in with the money. They could come in with the money and just, you know, forget that Atletico deal. They could make them just forget it completely. If they fail to get Lacazette then, another striker, another French striker that could get is Benzema. They've also been linked for 
abroad, trying to get for a few years. I don't think this is going to happen, though. I do think this guy could leave Real Madrid, but to be fair, China have wanted to sign him for a year or two now, so if he wants money, which he does, he does like a bit of cash, to be fair to him, China could be the number one destination. I've gone into the mirror, Karim Benzema finally prepared to quit Real Madrid for Gunners, question mark. The Real Madrid striker has been linked with a move to the Emirates over the past three years, that's right, three years, same as Lacazette, he's been linked with a couple of years, with manager Arsene Wenger, a keen admirer of the Frenchman. So yes, this is huge news, lots of players interested in going to Arsenal, my hat's gone a bit crazy, loads of players interested in going to Arsenal, loads of interest from Arsenal, it's a bit of a crazy one. Let's take a look at the final team then, Jordan Pickford in goal, so they could replace Petr Cech in the future. This guy, Kolasinic, apparently has a done deal already, apparently he's a verbal done deal, that is a, like the most concrete one of the all 11 you're going to see. Then we've got Van Dijk, £50 million, I can't see Arsenal forking up that sort of money for him, I just can't see it. Toby Alderweireld, that comes from the fans, fans started that rumour, I don't think he's going to leave. But he might leave Tottenham, but he's not going to go to Arsenal. This guy, Ryan Sessegon, even though this guy is just called Ryan, this is the closest I could get, because um, Stefan Sessegon isn't in FIFA anymore, so I couldn't even get him. Yeah, he'll definitely leave, but what club he'll go to, I don't know. Belotti, Arsenal rejected, you know, had a re bid rejected about 51 million. Arsenal are not going to go above that, and they're not going to pay the 120 million man asking price, so surely not. Verratti, nah, mate. Barcelona apparently want to get him. He'd rather go there, I'm sure. Kingsley Coman, I don't know. Would he want to come to Arsenal? I, I don't know. I really don't know about him. Tadic, now, if he wants to stay in the Prem, he's going to go Arsenal if he wants to stay in the Prem because, you know, a lot of clubs abroad are interested in him. Then we've got Lacazette. I don't know. Loads of clubs are interested in this guy as well. Atletico Madrid, apparently the favourite. Will he want to come to the Premier League good Arsenal? I don't know. Benzema as well. I think he'll go China. I think he will go China. I don't think he'll go to Arsenal, like I say. I know the rumours are there, but I think he'll go China. Anyway, guys, has been as always. Have a good weekend. Take it easy. Drop a like and a thumbs up down below. Peace.